right, hey, it's Rob, and uh, we're gonna do a fun job today. We are going to change out the cabin air filter in my 2022 Ford Maverick EcoBoost 2.0 uh, XLT front wheel drive. cabin air filter isn't something you think about very much but in Georgia we've got this gross pollen it's like yellow sawdust that lands on everything I'm sure this uh, cabin air filter will be filled with it I think they tell you to do it every 25,000 or something or that's what the dealer told me I'm just over I think 17,000 now I'm just gonna change it out just because I know we've got all this gross pollen floating around in the air and let's uh, see how you get rid of this thing and swap it out all right, so there is the cabin air filter. Uh, just go to Amazon and search for 2022 Ford Maverick. It should pop right up. I'll get you the part number in a minute. I think the brand is called A Premium. Anyway, so if you look down here, you can see, I'll get my finger on it. All that gross stuff right there. That is all the gross pollen that just cakes up when you live in Georgia. So that's why I want to change out this filter. All right, so A Premium, I believe, is the brand. And uh, you've got CAF99542. C, I guess, is the part number. Or that number up there, the part number. Not sure. One of them is the part number. Anyway, so in the 2022 Ford Maverick, at least in the EcoBoost, uh, I assume it's the same for the hybrid, but maybe someone will prove me wrong. Uh, the cabin air filter is just behind here, behind the glove compartment. First thing you want to do is empty out your glove compartment. And I got a lot of crap in here, so it's probably good. I got my motorman's friend. Hey, you never know. But a lot of crap. My wife always puts extra napkins and straws. Oh, who knows? Look at that. I got a set of cutlery. All sorts of fun stuff. All right. Emptied out here. Uh, what you want to look at here is uh, this little connector guy right there. That's something that you've got to remove. And uh, I'll see if I can figure out a way to wiggle it out and I'll tell you what I did. Okay, so that's a, just a little fitting right there, a plastic piece with two halves. And I simply just took a pliers and I squeezed it on there, put a little pressure on it, and I pulled this little retaining uh, clip or whatever you want to call it thing off. Just be careful, try not to break it. The other thing you want to do here is there are just two clips right here you want to push in. There's one you can see down there. And again, I'm going to push them in and just simply tilt the glove box all the way out. And sorry, I'm not showing you any of this, but uh, you get the idea. I don't have anybody else here filming it for me. I guess I could have put it on a stand. But anyway, uh, it's not too difficult. I'm sure you can do it. Now look at that. We got all this stuff behind here that I've never seen before. So your cabin air filter is up in here. I think there are, I don't know if I can get some light in there. Um, there are two little fittings right here. Again, little press fit things. You just pull that one out and you've got one on this side here too. I think you can see it. And again, you just apply pressure this way and this way and it'll open up. All right, so once again, just push that tab out there. That tab out there, very easy. Front cover folds down. There's your cabin air filter right there. One thing you wanna notice is airflow. It says going down. So I want to match that up uh, when I replace it. And let's just see if we can actually show you how it pulls out. <laughs> Pretty simple. Just slides right out, straight out, and wiggle it out. Wiggle it just a little bit. And this is only after 16,000 miles. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at all that gross stuff that's in there. Tree worms, we call them. My dog likes to choke on those things, but uh, 
clearly this filter's full of junk. Did its job. And now we shall replace it. All right, so there's the replacement filter. Just note here, airflow going down again. We want to uh, have it facing the right way because it's got a layer of like activated carbon or whatever in it that'll catch the particles. So going down, slide ourselves right back in there. Couldn't be any easier. All right, fits in there good. Oh, and we gotta push a little more. And then we gotta just push that there, make sure the tabs click there, and click there. There we are. Just make sure you hear those things click. And then of course you simply just move all the junk out of the way and Get that to seat back in there again. Just a very gentle push. And you've got your little connector right here, which is a press fit. And really, that's all there is to it. Except now I gotta put all that junk back in the glove compartment. Maybe I'll leave some of it out this time. All right, well, one more job to check off on the to-do list. Couldn't have been easier, took five minutes maybe, and hey, it'll help you breathe easier. What could be better than that?